Hello. Have you ever had mice inside the floor? Yeah, there's a second floor there, which also makes the ceiling of this room. And we can hear mice sometimes running back and forth and scratch, scratch, scratch and nibble, chew. And if you've ever had that, you're thinking, how do they get in there and how do I get them out? Well, if, I'm going to show you a few tips. Um, understanding how a house is built will help you to understand how the mice got in there and also give you ideas on how to get them out. So, um, basically, there's joists running along here in this direction for this house. And then you can see all the electrical. So, um, all these lights and anywhere upstairs where there's plugs in the bedrooms upstairs wires will come along and then to, they'll drill a hole through the joist so they can pass wire through to get to the light then they'll drill through a next joist and the next joist and the next joist to get there so all these joists are full of holes and so think of that the mouse can fall through each hole run back and forth along whatever space that is find another hole crawl through to the next one so they've got access to a large amount of floor this is a kitchen wall that wall there behind the cabinets is the main bearing wall these joists sit on it and that's what's holding them up it's also a mechanical wall which means between the studs they cut out chunks of the wall so they can pass furnace ducting up and then along to wherever they want it plumbing, electrical, heating a lot of it goes through the mechanical wall and so now that joist space is open to below so it's basically a hollow track from the main floor up through that wall and then under the ceiling now I'll take you upstairs and take have a look around there so here's looking at it upstairs and so of course the joists are through the floor like that through the furnace system there's a return air vent there another one there so you have to know how the furnace works. It's a forced air system, so that means it blows hot air up through a vent, normally beside the windows in each bedroom, and that blows the hot air into the room, and then these vents is the return air. It sucks air back in and back down to the furnace. The hot air ducts, they use ground metal ducting. It's a completely sealed unit from the furnace direct to the vent and but the return air if you look at this lady it's a bit late now the returns they don't use any ducts at all usually unless they have to go through a strange location generally they just use the hollow joist space so they just put a cardboard baffle to separate the joist space where they want the um, floor seals the top of it, of course, and underneath the drywall seals the bottom, and so that creates a bit of a duct that way. And so the return air, they just use that, the basic opening in the construction between the joist and the drywall, and that's how the air returns. And so that's where mice are free to run around. So you'll find these in several places, these vents, there's one here, right in this room. Cat's having a look. Another one here. So often they're on different joist runs. So there'll be a, a space along here somewhere in the joist, another space here in the joist, another, another space and, um, and so on. So I'm going to take, take you to a house that is in the process of being built. And I'll show you what that looks like so you'll understand what I've just been rambling on about. And then 
I'll bring you back here and I'll show you what I'm actually doing if I optimize. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, well here's a house that has been currently framed and worked on. You can see the joists for the second floor. There's a bunch of, bunch of wires drilled through, holes on the joists. And here's some baffles for the heating holes upstairs. This is for one of the return airs, you can see the hole cut in the wall. Another one here that's got double use with the pipe going through it. So there's a run there, a run there. Let's see what else we can find. This one is hot air. Hot air is enclosed in a metal duct, so there's no chance of them being in there. But all these joist spaces are open because if it's in one place, you can go through a hole into there, through a hole into there, and so on. Lots of holes here for plumbing, pipes, so there's access all the way through. And these walls have been cut to pieces in several places. And that's how they get the heat to run from the basement furnace up to the second floor. Here's another duct with a hole cut. So if any mouse gets in the floor anywhere, they can go upstairs and downstairs through all the holes and anywhere. So that's why they get through the house. All they need is one place of entry and then there's um they got access to the entire floor getting through the joists. Let's have a quick look upstairs. So these are the return airs. This one's also got a vacuum pipe through it. So that's one joist one there. Here's the other one I showed you. You can see the baffle below to direct the airflow from that point. That metal heating pipe I showed you, it comes up here. And usually there's no access to the ceiling from the main floor. Because any pipes there, they seal it for insulation purposes. So they cannot go from the ceiling through down the wall and into the floor. So the ceiling is isolated. So there's another opening. Here's another space here. And so that's how a house is built. And that's how a house, how mice can get in the floor and go through from one level to the next. That's the bathroom fan, that metal pipe. You can see a huge hole there. Of course, if a mouse gets into that place, there's nowhere they can go. So they're stuck there, but that's one more opening. We're out in the garage now. And here, a gas line comes into the house. Hopefully they sell that, but that is one port of entry for a mouse to even get in their house in the first place. Now the light's bad, I don't know if you can see this, but the gas line for the furnace has to get in their house somewhere. So it's in the garage now. And underneath, you know what, you can't see it. But basically, just under the stairs, it turns and there's a hole drilled through there. Now if that hole doesn't get sealed, um, a garage is the, one of the main places mice can get into the house. And then if they find holes like one drill through there, that's how they get in that way. There's heating ducts cut through the wall. Once again, right around the, where the pipe exits the wood. It's an ugly hole but it has to be totally sealed with foam or caulking or something because any mice can actually climb drywall it's rough enough that they can climb this house will be drywalled because of car exhaust purposes it must be sealed and if there's any little gaps like that they get in and they're in the joists then as we saw they can get anywhere in the house once they're in the joist system Take a look at the garage door. This one isn't shut properly, but there's a crack 
in cold weather, they would love to run through there. And even when it is shut properly, sometimes the concrete's slightly waved, and there might be a little spot where the light still comes through. And those are another place they can get into the garage. That rubber strip on the bottom, it wears out, squashes flat, and becomes useless. If yours is like that, tear it off, replace it. Find out what kind your door takes and get a new one. Okay, so that's basically a lot about how the mice can crawl around inside the house and around it. So I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to make a part two to this video and it will show you how I actually get the mice out of those joists and how I get them out. Um, once again, as you'll see, understanding how a house is built goes a long way to helping you find out just how to get them out. So, um, a bit cold today. I'm going to show you this in my truck, um, if I can get the focus right. Anyway, it's um, minus 27 degrees Celsius. Later, it's meant to it's meant to warm up to about minus 22. So, um, the bad news for that means any mice outside will definitely be hunting for a warm place to go. So, um, see you in part two. I'll show you how to get the mice out of there.